welcome to the first video of my channel. I'm excited to be bringing you a full flip of my A6. Um, and I will do my best to name all the shops I've used as I go. But if I forget anyone, everything I've used and bought and made will be linked in the description box down below. So make sure to check that out. So I'm in a Moterm A6 in Lychee White. Um, and this is the Lux. So it does have the 30 millimeter rings. This is an everyday carry catch-all for me, so I do use this for both work and personal planning. Um, and I do take it back and forth to work. I do take it on some errands, but I do use a pocket tote for my wallet. So I have this one from Moterm that I use as a wallet so I can take this to the grocery store um, or if I go out to like dinner with a friend or something like that. So, I'm going to go over deco pockets first and then we'll go through my inserts and the back pockets at the end. Um, starting off this zipper pocket, I only keep a couple paper clips in here, so there's not a ton going on in here. I do like to keep this area relatively flat so that the bulk of my planner is in my inserts. Up front in the side pocket, I do keep some stickers. So first are the papery planning mini transparent dot stickers. These are in various shades, um, but I love these. I'll point them out when I get to my weekly spreads on where I use them so you can see the size in action. Um, but these are some of my absolute favorite dot stickers. Um, I also really just love the design of the sheets too. And then I also keep some of the Paper Roses design dots, and these are in just various shades. I do have um, sheets of the Blush Nude shades coming soon, so I'm excited because I use these a ton, as you can see. Um, and I use these in both my monthlies and in my weekly spreads as well. In my first credit card pocket, I keep some memo sheets. These I just made myself and cut. Um, and I like to use these on the go if I do have anyone that needs like my information or I need to jot down a quick note. I keep those up front in case I need quick access to paper. Next, I have a floral credit card. This is just from a binder divider that I cut down for my tabs and I had some left over. So I made a little credit card out of it because I really like the pattern. In my third pocket, I have the cashmere page flags from Paper Roses Designs. These are full stickers, so they're great for headers. Um, and again, I just really like the style of this, so I keep it up front. And then in the last pocket, I do have a task card. The card itself is from Shop Crafts by Joe on Etsy. And the, the oh, excuse me, and the page flags are it's just transparent sticky notes cut down to page flag size. Um, if you look closely, you'll see that they're not even, so I'm not zooming you in, but the labels are just for my label maker. And then these are the Paper Roses design dots just for a little bit of deco on here. And again, these are just tasks that I do very frequently. So I'll pull one off, pop it in my weekly, and when I'm done, put it back on here, right back up front to remind myself to do these things. This little boot die cut is from Wild Moon Paper Co. Uh, the paper clip, I can't speak. <laughs> the paper clip is from Amazon. And then this is an Ollie clip from Cloth and Paper. In the secretarial pocket, I do just keep a couple important documents, um, but nothing else in there. I also don't keep anything in the large back pocket um, at the moment. I haven't found any use for that yet. So my first acetate dash is from Cat Espresso Co. You'll see this a lot, people love this, and me included. I think that this is beautiful and I really like how it layers over this. Um, the next is a freebie from Mommy Plans. So this is the March calendar freebie and I just printed this on transparency film. I have all of that layered over a dash I made on Canva. This is just a 2021 dash and then a little snake on the back followed by a piece of acetate with a couple adhesive pockets on here. The pockets are from Planner Press and these are probably my favorite pockets, adhesive pockets of all time. They are sturdy, they're really clear, um, and I just really like them. 
and the cards inside. This is a journaling card that I made on Canva. And then this is just a freebie from an order from Queen City Designs Co. And then on the back is a freebie journaling card. I believe that was in my planner press order, but it is from a while ago, so I'm not quite sure on that. And then another Queen City Designs Co. My first tab is my routines tab. And this is an Avery binder divider cut down to A6 size. So these do come for three ring binders and then I just cut it down um, and plopped a label for my label maker on there. And behind that are my routines. So first are the AM and PM skincare routines. These cards are from Shop Crafts by Joe and these are Avery business card adhesive pockets on acetate. And then behind that, I have my daily, weekly, and monthly planning routines. This is another Avery business card adhes adhesive um, adhered to a piece of vellum that I made on Canva and just the routines piece I made on Canva and then printed on vellum. And then on the back is my AM, PM, and weekend routine. And these actually need to be updated, but I like to keep those up front just to remind myself. My first bottom tab is an inbox tab. This piece of acrylic is from Fox and & Pip and the label is just from my label maker. My inbox itself is from Cloth & Paper and my inbox system is very simple. It's just a place to dump stuff. It has no organization really. It's just jot things down, reminders because it's up front in my planner. Eventually, I probably will get a more organized inbox system with like, you know, do now, do later, do seven months down the road, whatever, um, but this works for me for right now. And the sticky notes um, are from Poi and Hun. So these were on a um, collab that they did. And then this is a freebie from their Facebook group printed on top of just a white sticky note from, I think, Post-it brand. Behind that, I have the freebie from Ivy Mill Ink. This is printed on vellum, and I have it layered over a dash that I made on Canva. So both this and the white sheets on the front were from Canva. And then clipped to the back of this, I have a little, um, I think it's pocket size. I might have shrunk it even smaller when I printed it. Um, but this is a little calendar card from Minimalist Papers Co. This is a printable and um, I have paydays marked and then I list holidays at the bottom for the month. My next sheet is a freebie from Luna Luz Plans and I apologize in advance if I pronounced that wrong, um, but this I accidentally printed at pocket size but realized I really liked how it layered over top of the card right here so I left it um, punched that way. Next, I have an Avery business card adhered to acetate cut down to the size of a business card and punched with a today's intention card. This was inspired by Amanda Lee Plans on both Instagram and YouTube. She's got both. Um, and I believe that she was inspired by somebody else as well. So I will link both of them down in the box. Um, but this is just reminders for daily intention and stickers are from Paper Roses Designs, and this is just printed right on vellum. Behind that, we get into my schedule section. So this is my first bottom tab right here, which is schedule. This 2021 dash I made on Canva and printed on vellum. And then my white tabs, these three are my main sections, and then all my side tabs are my subsections. The white tabs I did just make on, I think Canva, and then printed on white paper, cut it out myself, laminated it and punched it. Um, so these are just very basic. And the paper that I used is, I think it's 32 pound paper, so it is a little bit thicker, which is great when you laminate it to be a little sturdier. And that's what I print all of my own inserts on as an FYI, and I will link the paper I use in the description box as well. So this is um, a freebie, a little free template from Canva, both of these. And then behind that, I have the cloth and paper conversions, 2021 year at a glance. 
and holidays. And I actually need to mark this as a yearly because I'm finding myself needing to look at a yearly calendar frequently and can never find this. So I'll probably be putting a little sub tab on this shortly. Behind that is my monthly section. So I do keep a year's worth of monthly inserts in here and they are marked by quarterly tabs that I made. I just cut these out of craft plastic and labeled them with my label maker, but they're the first, you know, January through March, April through June, etc. cetera. Um, and I keep a whole year's worth because I am in the wedding industry. So I like to be able to look at what's going on for the entire year in terms of wedding bookings. Um, and this 2021 dash I just made on Canva to print on top of my monthlies to start that off. So these monthlies I just made myself on Canva and um, these are the Paper Roses design stickers. So I'll kind of zoom you in a little bit. Pardon my dog in the background. Um, geez, there's people outside the window. And um, so I keep a little key right here. This is craft plastic and labels from my label maker and then the stickers from Paper Roses designs. But these mark birthdays, um, vet appointments, doctor's appointments, and hair appointments. And then you'll see um, in a minute, I also put weddings in here, but these are just quick, like planning out for the whole year. If I schedule an appointment in January for later in August, it's there. And I know when I go to do the month of August, I can kind of flip there, look at what I've got going on and plug that into my weekly system. And like I mentioned, I do keep um, the weddings in here as well. And what I do is I use transparent sticky notes and I cut them down and just put them over the columns so that if somebody reschedules or cancels, my whole calendar doesn't need to be reprinted. I just have to rip this off and redo the sticky note. On the end page of this, I just have a cloth and paper Prosecco dated memo sticky note and one of their Mademoiselle square page flags. I hate white space, so I realized when I printed my last calendar that I didn't do anything on the end sheet, so I just popped those on there. Next is a line art from Canva that I printed on vellum. And behind that is another piece of acetate with an adhesive pocket with some journaling cards that I made on Canva. And then this is another dashboard that I made on Canva. After this, we get into my weekly section, and this is a card that I actually just found lying in my stuff, um, so I haven't done anything with this yet, but I liked it better with this here, so I do have a tab for my weekly section. This is a Poi and Hun um, circle sticky that I cut down and labeled with my label maker for weekly, and this I have absolutely no clue where it's from. Like I said, I found it laying in with all of my bumper stickers, so can't tell you where that's from. But um, And my weekly section is also marked by this cloth and paper today tab. This is my favorite piece that I have in here because it's nice and wide up top, so I can just grab it and flip right to my weekly section since it is about halfway back in my planner. My weeklies are um, something I designed and made myself on Canva. They start off with kind of a catch-all, so big stuff, a don't forget section, and then a list of things I need. Um, and then I have a little habit tracker that I can update um, at the bottom. Uh, and then they're undated, so I do use a font for the month, and then I write in the dates. So I can change this each month if I want to, and I only print a month's worth at a time, and I do keep an entire month's worth of the weeklies in here. So this is what my weekly insert looks like at the moment. Because of how simple my schedule is right now, with just a few meetings and a few to-dos and not a lot of personal stuff going on, this is working really well for me. Um, once I do get into wedding season, I probably will be using dailies because of how busy my schedule will get, um, or I might try out a few different weeklies, but for right now, this works well. So I have Monday through Friday on this side, Saturday and Sunday on the right side, and then this is just a blank area that I can pop a sticky note, or I've used it before to write out just like to-dos, so it's a nice blank area for all of that. These are the Paper Roses design stickers. So I'll kind of bring those up so you can see size-wise. 
And then I have um, one of my Planner Fluent stickers in here. These are the Day Off in Taupe. Oh, let's see if I can pull the right one out. <laughs> so these are the Day Off in Taupe highlighted scripts. And then I have a couple other ones, Birthdays and Cancelled, um, for those. And I really like these stickers. They're a nice size. And then the sticky note is just a white sticky note with the Poi and Hun printable from their Facebook group. And I use this to track my work hours for right now. And then on the back at the end of each week, I have a reflect section about the good, the bad, what I'm grateful for, and something nice about myself. Um, and like I said, I do keep an entire month's worth of these in here. After my schedule section ends, we get into my work section. So this is my second main section. And I have obviously a bottom tab, but I also have this little floral bookmark that I made out of, again, those Avery dividers. And then I have some layering here. This is a freebie from Cloth and Paper that they do in their orders. Um, and then I have that on top of the EO Edits inbox dash printed on transparency film. And then clipped to the back is a little freebie from an order from Papery Planning. And then this is my inbox for work. So I do keep a personal and a work inbox. Um, I haven't really needed them. I kind of just like how this looks, so I haven't done anything with it. But this is from Brooklyn Grace Co., this uh, page lifter, and that's what I'm using as the inbox. And these are from Poi and Hun. And then this is, sorry, filming with the dogs in the house is an adventure, an adventure. Um, so, and then this is from Target. I believe that these are post, yeah, posted brand, but this was a, a noted collab maybe. I'm not sure, I have to check. Um, but these are from Target from the office section. On the back here, I do have a transparent sticky note. This was some deco I used for February for Valentine's Day, some song lyrics on a transparent sticky, but I liked it, so I kept it in here. And these transparent stickies are from Office Depot, and they're the same ones that I have for my page flags on my task card and for my monthly calendars where I put all the weddings. And this is from Poi and Hun. And then in my work section, I do have a follow-up insert that I made on Canva. This is just a half sheet and I do have it um, slit so I can pop it in and out and put it in my weeklies if I have something I need to remember for the following week. And it's just date, notes, and if I've completed it. And then I keep a running to-do list back here of just things throughout the year I need to make sure I'm checking up on and a note sheet. And then we get into my last main tab, which is adulting. So this is my personal section. Right here, I have a full-size pocket from Rose Colored Days. This is nice and thick and has that kind of jelly consistency. In the background is just a little design I printed on Canva and the neutrals card I made on Canva as well. Um, and then these two die cuts are from Wild Moon Paper. In the back, I have some of those um, mini transparent dot stickers from Papery Planning. I put these everywhere. I just love how they look and a cashmere candle die cut from Wild Moon Paper. Next, I have um, a drawing I did on my iPad of my dog Riley and I, and I just printed and laminated this and cut it to this size and punched it. And I have that layered over top of the Queen City Designs Co. name dash. This does come with their shop name on the bottom as an FYI. Um, I had to cut it down because I stupidly ordered personal wide because that's the size I originally was planning on getting and forgot to change it when I went to make my order. So I had to cut that down. But this is from Queen City Designs Co. <laughs> and then over top of um, a freebie from Mindy Plans. And this is one of my all time favorite freebies from them. I love how this looks on vellum, so this is printed on vellum. So my adulting tab gets you into my last main section, and so these are all sub-tabs which I'll go over. First one is my finances section, and again, this is one of those Avery binder dividers cut down. And then back here, I keep an entire year's worth of month-on-one-page inserts from Paper Test Designs. And I love these. Um, 
so for my, ugh, I can't speak for my finances, I do keep a large Excel spreadsheet on my computer. So I really don't need this for all of my bills. So right now I just use it to mark irregular bills like sub boxes and then paydays and when my dog food gets um, taken out because I do have a recurring shipment with Chewy for the dog food. So that's what this is. I did try icons that I printed up for my label maker for bills and I hated it. So um, I'm just gonna keep it very simple like this. And then I do have a couple, um, this is a key. So you can see the little dots and the colors. I can kind of, you know, run this over here and see which one it is. And then um, I keep page flags for savings transfers and skipping sub boxes on there as well. Behind that, I do have my order section. So this is a piece of vellum that I made into a tab and an order tracker insert that I made. And I'm gonna pop this out because I don't want to show you my insane amount of orders. Um, <laughs> but this is an insert that I made on Canva to track all of my orders. So date, the store, what I bought. I also will put the tracking number there, um, how much I spent, when it ships, when it's received, and if it's returned. Then I have this two pocket top loading dash from Catspresso Co. Inside of the first pocket, I just have a piece of transparency film with my initials, and then this dog mama card I made on Canva. And then on the back, I just have a picture of my babies. <clears throat> Next, we get to my health section. I believe this tab is a crystal clear tab from Brooklyn Grace Co., but I have to check that and I will link that in the box down below. Um, but we do get into my personal information up here. So I have that covered with this little butterfly card that I made on Canva and um, prescriptions and notes about my health. And then this is all doctor information. So primary care, dentist, eye doctor, OB, and then my allergist will go here, which is why I sound a little scratchy today. Um, I've been allergy tested recently, so my allergist will go there. Then I have a period tracker. And again, all these I've made on Canva. Um, this might be TMI, but I do take birth control. So technically I don't really need this, um, but I can't do math when the doctor's like, when was your last period? I don't have to worry about like backtracking four weeks. I can just say, oh, it started here. So that's why I keep this in here. And then on the back, I do have a health log. So I will just write down if I had any tests or x-rays or anything like that um, at the doctor there. Next is a doctor's visit insert I made on Canva. And again, this is really great to record when I go to the doctor, why I went, any questions or notes, um, and which doctor it was. Then we get to my pet section. So this is a little um, sticky note from Poi and Hun that I cut down and put a label from my label maker on top of to mark my pet section. And these are pet profile inserts that I made on Canva again. Um, and they go over pretty much everything. I'm not gonna detail it, but it's got pet information, their food, their vet, and then some notes about them. And then on the back is a health log. So as an example, they went to the vet on the first and annual visit and got a couple shots so I can write that down. There is a pet portal that I have like an app for them. So um, this is just kind of quick at a glance. I can remember when I'm scheduling my own doctor's follow-ups to also pay attention to when they had those things done. And then this is the one for Scout or Tootie, who's made all of the noise in this video. <laughs> then we get to my library section. So again, this is just an Avery tab, followed by my library dash, which I made on Canva. This is like what I imagine an encyclopedia cover to look like. So that's kind of the inspo for that. Um, and then just, cozy vibes inside and this is um inspo from one of my favorite book series um and then on the back whoop, same thing from canva 
And then this right here is something I also made on Canva to look like one of those library cards and printed on vellum. And this is also made on Canva. And then we get into the reading section inserts, which I did make on Canva. However, I will say that these are heavily, heavily inspired by um, Milu Lilu, I believe is the shop name on Etsy. And um, when I originally made these on Canva, I was unaware you could purchase inserts and shrink them down when you go to print. So they didn't have these in my size, so I kind of recreated them and adjusted them to kind of how I wanted them size-wise and a couple other things were changed but if you're interested in these definitely check out that shop because they're heavily inspired by that so i have a reading goals section and then tbr inserts so to be read i do use goodreads and so that has my full tbr but this is just um kind of how i'll prioritize and i'll do sections at a time from goodreads and pull them out and write them on here after that, I have a reading log and then book reviews. So this is just the book, the author, number of pages, genre, summary, review, quote, doodle. And then I have quotes to remember that I'll either pull from here or if I read something that I don't write a review on but really like to quote, I can just drop it there. And this is great because I'll eventually use these probably to make dashboards or journaling cards or things like that. And then on the back, I have a wish list. So I read all on my iPad right now, which I hate because I like physical books, but it's too expensive to buy physical books of everything. So um, I do that on my iPad. And then if I love the book and I want a physical copy, I'll write it on the wish list. Next is my meal section. This again is Poi and Hun and cut down to tab size and labeled with my label maker on a piece of craft plastic. And then this vellum is a freebie from Elamon Paper Co. that I printed on vellum. And because of how much ink this is, it did curl a little bit. So just keep that in mind if you're printing anything with heavy ink on vellum. And then these are my meal planning inserts that I've made myself based on how I plan. So I do meal ideas first, grab the ingredients from here, plop them on my grocery list, and then we'll take this grocery list and put it in my pocket planner in order of how the grocery store is laid out. So that way I don't have to worry about it when I'm doing this planning. It can be messy and then I can plop it in order in my pocket, which is what I take to the grocery store. Budget and actual for my groceries. And then this is what the meal plan insert looks like for the week. I do typically eat breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. So that's how this is organized. And then these are undated, so I just write in the dates, any notes I have, and then ideas for meals for the next week. On the back, I do keep an inventory list of food I have, so like canned goods or chicken stock or things like that. So if I am going to the store, I don't buy seven cans of corn. Um, this is not filled out, obviously. I need to, to update these. But I do also have a home inventory in my list section, so I might change this up. I haven't decided yet. Last two sections are lists and notes. So for my list section, this vellum I just made myself on Canva. It's a list of some of my favorite things. And then my lists tab is on vellum as well. My first list is insert ideas. This is something I made on Canva. I use these as my ideas to make and then if I made or printed them and then on the back is freebies that I want to print and I need to change this made to um, downloaded but this is a freebies and then home inventory this is a freebie from Ivy Mill Inc and I've just put these in here so that's why they're blank but I will be using them soon. <laughs> Um, my next inventory sheet is an insert that I bought from Simple and Trendy Co. And then this list insert is also from Simple and Trendy Co., which I'll be using for Instagram photo ideas and then other things that I haven't decided yet. And then I have some favorite planner shops in here and coupons, which I need to update this because it's a little out of date and then some to-do lists. 
Last section is my note section, which I do have separated with a top tab ruler from cloth and paper. This note stash is one that I made on Canva and printed on vellum and layered on top of the traverse stash from cloth and paper, which does come fully black, but got wiped onto this vellum, so I need to fix that. I have a couple of those transparent sticky notes stuck here and then a few different notes inserts that I made. So blank ones, lined ones, and then these are the cloth and paper Cornell ins notes insert that I purchased from them. Last three things. Um, this is a pocket that I got from Shop Crafts by Joe. I believe that this is a Daiso soft case in A6. And then this is from cloth and paper. I'm keeping these in here because I want to use them, but haven't found anything I want to put in them yet. So it's just a reminder like, hey, they're in here, find something to use them for. <laughs> and then the last is a page lifter from Brooklyn Grace Co. and this frosted material. In my back pockets, I do have nothing in the secretarial pocket or these two side pockets, but my business card pockets do have an if found card with my information on it, the Poi and Hun ruler tool. This is a silhouette that I drew of my dogs on my iPad, printed and laminated, Scat's ears curling. <laughs> then I have a freebie from a cloth and paper order, and that is underneath this Canva line art that I printed on vellum and cut down and plopped in here. And then last I have a little calendar card that I made, if I can get this layering back in, that I made on Canva and printed and laminated for each month and I just stick those in here with the new month. So that's it for my flip. Um, I know that this was long and chatty, so thank you so much for hanging around. I hope you enjoyed everything. If you have questions on anything, please drop a comment down below. You can find me on Instagram at Kira Plans if you want to learn anything more or see any more inspiration. And thanks for sticking around. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day. Bye.